what is going on, Lunatics? We need to have a conversation right now that's going to be very uncomfortable for a lot of people, but I owe you guys the truth that you need to know about, about what's going on in these broader markets. Now, is there anything wrong with Luna Classic? Well, other than the DPEG and stuff like that. No. Fundamentally, we're still in that downward sort of trajectory in this short term, but we will have a reversal. There's been a prediction of $100,000 Bitcoin by the end of August. So most people are looking at the data that they're seeing and they're coming up with this idea that we're about to have an explosive sort of move that will include altcoins. Now, before we get into this, uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified, all that kind of stuff. And don't forget that if you are, and the rock means are, into risk-based gaming, then make sure that you go check out Terra Casino. The reason you should check out Terra Casino is because they're one of the top burners of Luna Classic, and you can earn some rewards. Now, I have a link down below, and it helps this channel uh, with a sponsor of Terra Casino and Terraport Finance that you use those two platforms because that aids and helps me to continue to provide you with this content. Now, you guys know I do Luna Classic videos all the time, but I'm also introducing you to different projects like Terra Casino and Terraport.finance so that you can navigate successfully this sort of ecosystem. By the way, I uh, bought a bunch of Rakoff tokens. I decided I couldn't wait anymore. I think Rakoff down about 5% on the day was going to be that big move. So I think I'm going to hold on to that just a little bit. And by the way, a special interview coming out with Rakoff very soon. Anyway, make sure that you uh, go sign up Terra Casino today. It helps me out. Just sign up. Uh, if you want to start doing some, some risk-based gaming, by all means, go for it. Because you can choose from Lu Luna Classic, uh, Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, USDC, USDT, Dogecoin. You have a bunch of different options that you can go over there and you can perhaps win some prizes, if you will. Or uh, if you just want to bet on Bitcoin, you can still do that. So uh, And sports wagering. All, all this is available to you, but you got to go over there and you got to do it. So um, let's get back into it. Let's talk about what is going on in the broader market. Okay, so here's what's going on. Have you ever heard of a super wave? Have you ever heard of a uh, super duper wave or something like Just some kind of wild uh, something or other that, that people are using to track. There is a uh, technical indicator that kind of tells you, you know, what's going to happen. An SD wave is a super down wave. An SSD is a surprise super down wave. Well, we got an analyst by the name of Alan Santana who thinks that Bitcoin is about to dump super hard. He thinks that because of all of the information that he's getting from this technical indicator. And what it says, what it says is that we're looking at the potential here for a surprise super down wave because of the declining volume and because of the increasing price we're looking at a gigantic bearish divergence now uh, that would mean that the next level of support comes down past 57,000 all the way to 40,000 so when you've got a lot of people out here talking about potential downturns and stuff like that is it realistic now i don't think that it honestly is i don't think it's going to happen but it is irresponsible if i don't just give you guys an idea that that you know there are some low numbers out here that people are looking into the market is down about 85 billion dollars just over this last few hours what's happening right now well the answer to that is institutional investors are exiting the market why are they exiting the market the answer to that is mount gox mount gox started giving people their bitcoin a few hours ago and as soon as that started happening you started to see these on-chain transfers then that meant that mount gox was active and they were giving out a ton of bitcoin which again leads people to be oh i'm selling right now so now you're seeing a dip in price now of course long term it's going to be bought up by all these uh, uh, different actors. And, and by the way, only half of that Bitcoin is ever going to see the market. The rest of it's already been uh, uh, paid for by OTC buyers. So no effect on price action. So that other half, that four and a half billion that's kind of sitting there, that's coming back into the market. Bitcoin trades $50 billion a day. It's a drop in the bucket. It's not really a thing, but you have to ride the market to see what happens, right? So um, he's saying that this SSD uh, could... I do a lot to wreck the market. Now, why would it wreck the market? And, and I'm going to, again, this is Bitcoin, but it's important because it's the broader market. Now, uh, all of the alts, all of the, the cryptos that you and I are so fond of, uh, we haven't seen a price like 77.42 since when? 
and, and, and to answer that, that's right here. Uh, so that answer was in November, right? So we didn't get that massive upturn. We got this kind of uh, opportunity over here. You know, of course, in April it dipped uh, in a flash crash. But uh, as far as trending and trading and stuff like that, you know, it's been a while since we've been in this range, right? Because in January, everything started to just go crazy in the broader markets. And that's when we saw the big spikes, right? Well, they've come down. Most of the cryptos that were pumping super hard are coming down to prices that we haven't seen in a long time. When's the last time we were seeing this? Uh, it, and it goes all the way back in here to December, January, February. So everything pumps super hard. And now it's consolidating again and finding these lows one more time that we haven't seen in January. Well, where was Bitcoin in January? Well, in January, ironically, Bitcoin was down here in the 40,000 range. So you can see that right here. Now, that means that if the altcoins are sitting at January numbers, why isn't Bitcoin? So that's why you're going to have a lot of nervous people looking for that surprise, super down wave, something like that to happen. So just so you guys are, are aware, there could be some more downside, could be some more flash crashing. If you look around this broader market, then you will find a lot of capital being sucked out, especially right now in meme coins. Uh, as I look down this list, I'm seeing a lot of meme coins. I'm seeing a lot of stuff that's just being sold off. Uh, massively Trump down to 474 down 20 percent over the night Jupiter down 11 percent Floki down 11 percent Jupiter not of course uh, 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 you, you know what Jupiter is it's part of the Solana ecosystem uh, so uh, Solana big meme coin place um, Solana memes with down 12 percent Pepe down 12 percent you know a lot of these different newer cryptos down significantly because what we're doing is we're retracing back right now but Bitcoin is still strong, even though it breaks 60,000, it's still strong. It hasn't broken out of its structure yet. And the 200 MA is coming around at around 57.5 at this point. So there could be some more downside. We had the first day of outflows in the market for a little bit. So just stick with me here. So price is going to go down. You shouldn't worry about it. You, you, I don't think you need to worry about it because, look, if we're not moving crypto around, if we're not... Uh, buying and selling and trading and we're just kind of accumulating for long to have a big move then just fundamentally realize that's still going to happen it's just a matter of timing right now and if your risk doesn't tolerate it it's okay to exit it's okay to not be here at the end when when the actual pump happens uh, but there's you know the one, the one important thing is you know what you should know about a cryptocurrency market is find five different tokens or coins that you have a severe conviction in that you think are going to really 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 run and then just have patience if everything out around you but your tokens pumps it's okay because your token will pump and they just don't all pump at the same time. So, um, again, we'll go back to Luna Classic here and talk about this because there's a big article that just came up. Uh, when will Lunk reach a dollar? Now, this is um, this is kind of a breakdown, and it's whether or not you should buy Luna Classic. Okay, At the time of writing, it was priced at around 408235 with a 24-hour trading volume of $25 million. Its market cap is sitting at about $452 million. Uh, since peak of $119.18, its lowest price was $401675. So since then, the highest its reach was $3059. Currently, per coin, coin codex, sentiment around luck is neutral, but the fear and greed portent fear is at 40. So neutral sentiment on Luna Classic, but fear in the market. The circulating supply is still $5.49 trillion out of a maximum of $6.783 trillion. Over the past year, the supply decreased by 0.68 removing 39.7 billion lunk from circulation now it's a matter of, of getting uh this was uh, removed from here so you know it's a matter of this point of continuing to burn uh some more tokens now you know we've had 123 billion taken off chain but a lot of that's still sitting around uh we, we haven't actually burned it off chain yet we'll have to get to that at some point it'll you know it'll, it'll become a big thing now burn activity here 123 billion 763 million uh, in the past week the cumulative total burn was 7 billion again that was 6.5 billion from uh, Binance in that one transfer when Bitcoin Turk got hacked. 30 day metrics, so 9.8 9 billion burn. Uh, that's a, a significant amount, but again, 
an outlier. Recent market trends, uh, it's experienced a decline of 27% over the last 30 days, 12% in the last seven days, 2.2% uh, 2, 2 .2 price increase in the previous 24 hours. Is that a reversal? Not exactly. The market's still kind of weighing out. So when we look at it in the short term, we see a, a market reversal, but it's not a broader reversal just yet. So um, now, as far as short-term outlook goes, uh, there are expectations of around four zeros, 99.7. Uh, again, I, I told you guys that it's going to be three zeros, 10, uh, five, 1.05 cents is probably the target where we're going to end up. In my opinion, uh, they're doing the same thing here. They're just kind of looking around, saying that they think that this is what's going to happen. Now, in July, maximum price four zeros, 916. But it, you know, this is just a trend line that they're using to give you what they think it's going to be. So uh, there's an average price prediction here. Not very, not very exciting to look at. Um, it doesn't account for anything. It's, it's not even an AI algorithm. It's just an average algorithm. So. But that, that is, we still have that question. So we'll see how this plays out. But, I mean, be, be paying attention to potential price action. Now, uh, in Commonwealth, there's challenges in building a case for the missing 200 million USTC. We're not going to get too much into this because I don't give a shit about this 200 million. Uh, however, uh, it, it should be noted that we do have to account for it at some point. But, you know, this is just kind of, can we dig into the weeds and try to figure it out? Uh, who is the claimant here? Lunk community, are we legally recognized as a claimant under the jurisdiction? Uh, and this is uh, 200 million that were misappropriated um, when the USTC price was one dollar. So this was right before the crash. So um, uh, and and this is just somebody who wants to burn 200, you know, a, a million tokens. Um, and um, we'll see. It's an early. It's an early thing. I don't think it's going anywhere for right now. I don't think we're gonna figure it out, but. Um, it, it's good to know that people are paying attention. Uh, as far as governance goes, nothing uh, nothing being proposed right now. There's nothing uh, actively being voted on or anything like that. There's 1.97 billion tokens being burned. The volume, 17 million on the date, not good. Uh, the volume on USTC, 8 million, not good. Up significantly, by the way, but uh, market price way, way down. Again, uh, we're looking over here at Folks, if crypto goes up, you need more crypto. If crypto goes sideways, you need more crypto. If crypto goes down, you need even more crypto. What better place to do it than Cryptonomy.finance? Remember, Cryptonomy is a hedge against whatever might befall this economy and this market. So let's check it out. Since the last time we talked, 2.3x return, 2.95x return, 2.37x return, 1.4x return, 1.59x return. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to take my XRP. I've got 12,800 XRP. I'm going to max that out. I'm going to stake this for uh, nine months here. 71.8% yield return. That's going to give me an estimated amount, 9,208 more XRP. Don't you want more XRP? Now that I've done that, I'm going to go back over here to the launch pool. I'm going to throw in about half a Bitcoin. Again, I'm going to be in the bronze level. I'll put 0.43 in. That's a good risk for me and a good return for me. Folks, it doesn't get any simpler than this. If you are looking for more crypto, stake it. That's what everybody tells you, right? So do that and you should be fine. But I'm not a financial advisor. If you want financial advice, go to the research section of cryptonomy.finance and they'll tell you what you need to know. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. $76 billion in sell-off today, so we're kind of struggling. As far as Luna Classic price, we're still really on the range. Like Nothing's fundamentally changed here, except now we're starting to drip. You can see this right here. We had this uh, significant drawdown right here, immediately got bought back up, and we came back into this line. However, this line is continuing to make upward momentum. We're not at this moment. Now, could this be a short little shakeout? That's what I'm inclined to think. I think this is uh, you know, one of those short little shakeouts like, oh my God, it's going to go down. And then the next thing you know, everything's going to start ripping again because, you know, you found that price, you liquidated those people, uh, you got buyers to step back in. That's what you're looking for ultimately. So that's what's going on. Uh, as far as coin hall goes, uh, just give you guys an idea here. I have a bunch. I went ahead, uh, I, you know, I was holding on to Luna Classic because I thought, you know, we'll get a nice little pump. But I think that Rakoff token probably going to be the one that pumps in the next 24 hours, 48 hours, something like that. So I'm going to jump onto Rakoff for a second because it doesn't seem like it's had that big, big move that I think is coming. And we're doing an interview with Rakoff here coming up very, very shortly. So I figured, you know, I'm going to hold on to this. Uh, I think maybe we'll test a new high over here. When we do that, then I'll, you know, I'll probably 
leave half of it in, bring the other half out, you know what I mean, uh, get a nice little lift, and then buy something else. What am I going to buy? I'm not sure yet. Most likely going to be Terra tokens for TerraPort.Finance. Uh, but remember, we already have some base tokens. We already have a lot of different tokens that we're holding in this ecosystem. So um, that's it for your update. Don't have a new project for you today. Working on one. Uh, working on, uh, I got to create a new account to, to, to do one of them. I uh, want to set up some defense and stuff like that, but I want to take you through the gameplay mechanism so that you can see it actually playing. Uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. So thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, it's not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, hopefully we'll see some good price action coming pretty soon. But uh, be fearful of that downturn because I, it, it is entirely possible that we do have some more downside coming. People are scared about Mount Gox despite that it's a very small amount, but guess what? We'll get over that hump in a couple of days, and people will find out, huh, oh, so we were doing that for no reason. Uh, we must be dumb. Well, yeah, you're an American investor. So there you are. Uh, we'll talk to you again soon.